So the next high-low dish I'm making is I'm gonna take a simple baked potato and I'm gonna do a crust with herbs and lemon zest. And then I'm gonna fill it with, with feta. Okay. I'm gonna take these four huge potatoes, put them on a sheet pan. Okay. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pierce them with a fork because otherwise you'll have potatoes exploding all over your oven, which isn't pretty. Not to mention you wouldn't have dinner. Okay, now I'm gonna make an herb and lemon rub that I'm gonna put on the potatoes and it makes them taste so good. So first I need rosemary. I'm gonna just chop it first. I need about a tablespoon. Just put it right in the food processor. And now two teaspoons of thyme leaves. The zest of one lemon and lots of salt. I'm using a tablespoon of fleur de sel or sea salt, which has got kind of a briny flavor rather than being too sharp and salty. And just give that a pulse so it gets really finely chopped. Okay. Mm. Well, does this smell good? The thing I'm gonna do is rub all the potatoes in olive oil and then roll them around in this mixture so it adheres to the outside of it and then bake them. And that really gets the flavor into it. So, a little olive oil. You don't have to measure it. Just kind of rub it on. Make sure each potato is covered. Olive oil actually does three things. Keeps the skin tender, which is good when you're eating it. It flavors the potato, but it also allows the lemon and the, all the herbs to adhere to it. Lots of flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna take each one and just roll it around in the herbs and the salt and rosemary. And how good does that look? Not look great. Just enough on each one to give it lots of flavor. Okay, into the oven, 400 degrees for 60 minutes, and they're gonna be really tender, and I'm gonna make a great feta filling for them. So the potatoes are almost done. I'm gonna make some whipped feta. I'm gonna slit the potatoes and pile it inside. So first I need six ounces of Greek feta. I'm gonna crumble it up. You can use French feta, which is a little milder, but I kind of like the tanginess of Greek feta. I've got two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a third of a cup of olive oil, two ounces of cream cheese. It has to be room temperature, otherwise it won't whip well. Salt and pepper. Very simple potato, but it really takes it to another level. And just give it a Blitz in the food processor. I want it nice and creamy. How good an idea was this? Okay, I think the potatoes are done. Mmm. They smell so great. Lemon and herbs and salt. Who wouldn't like that? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna slit them open. Ooh, these are really hot. Open it a little bit. Put some of the whipped feta inside. Just pile it up. This is not a boring potato. Maybe some fresh chives. Okay, I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna do the rest and I'm gonna put them on a plate. These are gonna be really good. Now, almost everybody likes a baked potato, but trust me, if you make these, people are gonna say they're the best baked potatoes they've ever had.